Wow! Oh, jeez. It has been a long time since I have sat in front of this microphone. That is all I have to say about that. So, you're probably asking yourself, where was I? Well, I'm just going to explain it with a little clip. I went skiing, and it didn't turn out well, to say the least. You can just listen to this quickly. I'm back in the K-13B. The K-13? You don't want to go down that run. That run's got a history. 35 people have died going down it, and some say you can still see the ghosts up there. I was on that very ski run that a group of students were killed by a wolf boy who escaped from the mental institution. You see, that ski run was once a burial ground to a tribe of vampire Wichita Indians who ate the flesh of children with no eyes. Yeah, a lot of history on that ski run. So yeah, it was, it was pretty hardcore, the K-13. I'm not going to go into specifics, but needless to say, I was out of the game for a while, but I'm back. That's, that's a promise right there. So what I'm going to do here, I'm putting up a Black Ops video. You're probably saying to yourself, oh my gosh, Black Ops 2 is coming out in like, what, eight months? That's true. That's very true. I've pre-ordered it because I'm excited. That game looks that game looks different. I like that. Anyways, what to expect for the future? That's an interesting question. You're about to hear click, click. I changed. Yeah, I wasn't monitoring how long this is. The future, the future is going to have nothing but Call of Duty commentaries and the occasional... Not Call of Duty commentary, but very occasional because I understand that people like the Call of Duty thing. But this summer, I'm going to be getting a smallish Chinese crappy AC. No, I'm going to get an HDTV to put next to my little workstation here. And I am going to be able to put up videos again because my HDPVR needed an HDTV to thread through, come out the back, Xbox 360. Anyways, that was really confusing, but it makes sense in my head. Look forward to the Call of Duty videos. Trust me, they're going to be, they're going to be good. I'm gonna make sure they're good. I've got a couple other things planned. Nothing too exciting, but it's it's gonna be good. And another thing to notice is that at the end of this video, you're gonna see the best outro on YouTube. Fact. Doesn't get any better. So what else is there to talk about? I'm gonna spend the next three minutes talking about Black Ops 2 and why I'm excited. I am excited because it looks like Treyarch did something different, and that is hardcore. They took the series into 2025 which is the future for the record yeah we know that but that's exciting there's new guns that aren't old guns okay besides all the obvious stuff i think that they are actually making a difference with the series i think that it's going to be somewhat fresher than it was with modern warfare 3 i really enjoyed modern warfare 3 and i still do but it seemed kind of stale and i remember watching the trailer at e3 or the little gameplay thing they did and i said to myself this looks exactly like modern warfare 2 and that's pretty much what it is the gameplay isn't the same but it looks the same and it feels the same and it's just faster and i am hoping that black ops will take all the great things that treyarch does like game balance and multiplayer balance and great community support and all the advances that black ops 2 had like all the custom emblems and everything cool about that and i hope that they implement that into black ops 2 successfully and i hope it stays that way that's going to be the last game that i purchase on current generation consoles i actually already have started saving up for whatever's next because the wii u's coming out this holiday season and i can pretty much guarantee that 2013 december there's going to be new consoles from both microsoft and sony and i am seriously looking forward to that i'm a little disappointed but when i really think about it the fact is the hardware's been around for an absurd length of time, and so that's going to be exciting. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to what's going to be on those consoles. But for this year, hopefully it's going to go out with a bang. I've got a couple releases that I'm looking forward to uh, in order of appearance. Bioshock Infinite, I believe that's October. Slightly after or before that, Aliens Colonial Marines. I have high hopes for that one. It is Gearbox, but they've done some things right. Not a fan of some of their other work like Duke Nukem Forever, but... It looks and feels like Aliens, and that is, that's fantastic. It, it nailed that part, and as long as they can keep the rest of it going, it's going to be a solid game. After that, probably the next thing that is going to be Halo 4 and then Black Ops 2. That's going to be the year of games for me. That's a lot to plow through. Actually, my backlog right now is huge. I've still got to finish L.A. Noire, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3... And there's probably a couple others in there, but I, oh yeah, Modern Warfare 3, I never played the single player of that. I probably won't. I'm going to leave that off my list of things that I need to take care of. Um, other than that, I was also thinking of doing some Portal 2 
uh, co-op dual com. So if you're interested in that and you haven't already closed this video because you're like, wow, I pff, three months gone, I'm unsubscribed. That's just fine. But anyways, I'm telling this is this is a promise. I am going to make sure that my new videos are regular and great. Thanks for watching. Enjoy my new outro.